Now the truth is, in the spring of 2011, there was still no market for carbon that had been captured in plankton because there was still no proof it could be done. So really, there was nothing to sell. But that, it seems, has rarely been an impediment to Russ George. The next talk is uh, given by Russ George of uh, D2 Fusion Inc. His list of investment projects and companies is as long as it is dubious. Before there was plankton, there was cold fusion, another fringe theory. The promise of cheap, low-energy nuclear power that George told investors he'd harnessed into a home heating unit. I'm going to talk today a little bit about uh, results that I have gotten over these uh, almost 16 years that I've been working in this field. <laughs> the heating unit never materialized. In all, there were close to two dozen companies, including a tree planting company called Klimafa. By then, the pitch was all about carbon, and George is nothing if not a compelling pitcher. Look, you're dealing with a man who primarily uses as his tools smoke and mirrors. Journalist Stephen Crivet covers the field of emerging technologies. Russ George has been on his radar for more than a decade. He's a risk taker. He really doesn't care a lot about what his critics say or think. Oh, and then there was the Vatican thing. The Vatican thing. Back in 2007, the church announced a new initiative to encourage green technology. Sensing an opportunity, George rushed to Vatican City, promising to make it the first carbon-free state in the world by virtue of thousands of trees he was going to plant in Hungary. Pictures of him donating the supposed carbon credits went worldwide. The Cardinal. I'd like to present to you this certificate from our company, Klimafa. And on behalf of the Vatican, we will now be planting a new Vatican forest. Oh, this was an amazing publicity stunt. He didn't have any carbon credits. He did not have a forest in, 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 in Europe that had grown yet. The criticism is that, first of all, you did it in secrecy. Second of all, you didn't share. You didn't put this out there to have it assessed and to have it risk managed and all the kinds of things that normal uh, scientific ex experiments go through. You didn't do that. So they don't buy the fact who when says, you say this says, is a scientific says, experiment. How could they know what we did when they don't know all our methodologies? Well, that's their point. And they don't that's know all their our point. data. They, they say that is, if, if this was really a scientific experiment, they would know your methodologies. You'd put them out there. People would have an opportunity to look at them, to comment on them. There would be risk uh, and we'll assessments done. Well, as we feel, we're right on schedule still. We're, but we're, you would do that before you go out and dump 100 tons of iron. Well, like, again, you're characterizing it as a dump. And it's 100 tons over a period of three weeks can hardly be characterized as a dump. And it's this, that kind of language it's been, has characterized this whole, this whole uh, you know, this whole story, whether it be illegal, dump, rogue, naive Indians. You know, we've heard it all, and this, 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 this community has taken the brunt of it. So put the evidence out there. Well, we will. And it's being worked on now by third parties. It's not, it's, not, it's not our... The only thing that's going to exonerate is, is if this is verified by Gold Star third-party scientists. So who are the Gold Star third-party scientists? At this point, our, our partnerships will be remain ours. I think any time someone says we have Gold Star scientists, it probably means they don't. What's more, says journalist Stephen Crivet, it's exactly the kind of self-serving, unverifiable claim Russ George is famous for. Science is about openness. Science is about trust. Sharing data. In my opinion, no, I, I, I can't believe anything that Russ George says that has a, a tinge of, uh, of, of scientific appearance without seeing what he's got to back that up. The worst thing that could happen is that if you exercise you come back and you have every little village on the coast dumping stuff in the water. Like that that's not nature, you guys are playing college. What like what makes you think that you, John Disney and Russ George, have the authority to do that and drag the rest of us through what well well to do so? We're not playing God. What's God got to do with science? Very methodically. 
by, by putting Russ Gordon out there when, when the shit hit the fan. Instead, you have a press conference that was basically a Russ Gordon promotional video, and you drag the rest of us through the mud can, and that's what happened.